Best job in the world. Uh, it best is the best job, job in the world. world. It is the best job. Absolutely. I get paid to go walking. I know. Which millions of people. <laughs> I think it's something like National Trust did uh, some uh, research over Christmas, and more than 40 million of us went for a Christmas walk Good. over the Christmas New Year period. Good. It's officially our most popular pastime. Which well, is great. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. And then the thing about your programme is people will watch that and think, I've got to get up and get off my bottom. And we're so lucky we've got all of this on our doorstep. Most of us. Yeah, have, we're we? very lucky. Beautiful. Ancient oaks, just lots of lovely mosses. And yeah. you know that the air there is really pure because you can see lots of uh, the lichen everywhere. And that means oh. that the air in the oxygen is very pure. And that's very good for you. Very good for you. Very good and for here you. we are talking about getting fit for January. Know. You know, this is going to be the best year for all of us, we hope. And walking is a very good way of getting fit. I walk everywhere, yeah. especially in London, I walk because, yeah. you know, it's always gridlocked anyway. It's really difficult to get from A to B. But it's really good for. And it's the thing you can do and it doesn't cost you anything. That's right, you just need a good <laughs> pair of walking trainers or walking yeah, boots yeah. and you can fit it into your everyday life. The book is out as well, it's called Unforgettable Walks. This is a cracker because it really does give you, you know, where you can go, practical advice, you know, where, what you will see. Stories about how we make the walks as well. And yeah. this comes out in paperback on February the 9th. That's so brilliant, Julia. Walks back out. But you, it's the so. enthusiasm, I love it. Well, you know, as you said, I've got the best job in the world. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's just, it's always lovely to be able to inspire mm. people. And also to say to people, even if you don't fancy the walks, a lot of people write to me and say uh, they might have retired, they might not be up for the big walks anymore, right. but they just like to watch the scenery of and course. watch me do the hard well, work. Well, that's fine. So they can see it <laughs> Friday night, 8 o'clock. I'll be doing all the hard work for you if you don't fancy it. Sounds good. <laughs> now, listen, talking about fancy, and what's all this about Alan Partridge? Well, you, tell, you. you tell me. Well, look, we've got a quote here from Alan Partridge, who, of course, <laughs> is not a real person, but he feels real. But let's, um, not, let's not let that no, dissuade no, indeed. us. No, no, no. That when asked to name his ideal dinner date, he said, Julia Bradbury, we could go on a walk, See, yeah, see. yeah, yeah. But in his head now, the heavens would open, giggling like teenagers. We dive into a local pub and dry off in front of the fire, eating a pie. Then we have a kiss. Oh. Not sure about that, Julia. Maybe the kissing well, bit. That's of Alan not Partridge the worst quote have. that I've heard from Alan Partridge. <laughs> Apparently, he's he's come up with something called a Bradbury pie, which is where he bastes me in butter and let's not go any further. I think I I I, <laughs> I know. I know, and that's just going too far. But yeah. hey, it's a good fun. It's good. It's good. It's, to, it's good, a celebrity good crush. I'll take it. I think so. I think so. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. So Christmas, you was fine. With Christmas, the kids, all yeah. The so I've got um, three little ones who are all under five. My little boy is uh, five and a half. Uh, my twin girls are just about to turn two in March. So Christmas was very much a family affair and full Gosh. of excitement. And I was kind of getting to the stage where I didn't even really have a tree. So now that oh, I've got a young family sweet. and the magic has come back to Christmas, best uh, best toy by far for the kids' pop-up tent. Chuck the pop-up tent outside. Brilliant. They loved it. That's a really so start good them idea. young, that's Absolutely what I say. Absolutely, get them doing it. And what about a pole dance thing that was going on? You, well, did my, you get a pole? In my your... New Year's resolution yeah. is to try and master the pole. I got a pole this year, last year, um, and it's one of those extendable, you can just put it in your house anywhere. So I anybody can do it. Them. You can buy them. I didn't know you could buy them. And you can fit them in your home, and it's How... literally from floor to ceiling. Brilliant. Goes anywhere. Amazing exercise and yeah. very, very difficult to master it you know the whole the art of pole dancing right. is indeed an art some might say it's a dark art but i'm just <laughs> going to go with art so you're going to go with so it? i'm going to go with it this year and i'm going to try and master the pole i so i'll come back at the end of the year and i'll let you know how i'm doing but please i might come around your house and get some lessons let's <laughs> not film it in the meantime because it's quite it's yeah it's not very pretty when you can't do it very well no i love that idea because it is a skill i mean it it's a is, real and it's Excellent work in terms of exercise and the workout. Mm -hmm. Whole thing, arms, thighs. You do get a bit bruised though. Right. Okay. Watch out. But still, it sounds amazing. Yeah. Julia, enjoy. I will do. Enjoy. And I think I think you and I that could send Alan Partridge over the over the edge. Doing the, le learning to pole dance. <laughs> I know that'd be yeah. crazy. <laughs> if you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.